So, hi guys, a um, bit of a problem yesterday when the sound didn't record, so I'm going to record it again today. So I hope you all did Bug Club yesterday and that you're going to do this today. So this is the chapter called Hut, and there are some instructions and questions on the notebook page. So let's have a go at this. Let's move myself over. There you go. Okay, so Hut, velvet dark, I blink. The triangle of moonlight from the hut's opening falls onto a strange lumpen shape. I clasp my mouth. I take a staggery step back. It's somebody. Somebody here. Somebody sleeping. But the shape doesn't move. And as my eyes, accustomed to the lack of light, appear harder, and I realise it's not a person at all. It's just a bundle of what looks like animal skins, all dishevelled like an unmade bed. I peer into the edges of the hut. There's no one here. It's empty, abandoned almost, like the rest of the clamp. A chilly breeze passes, a shiver. The whole place is spooking me out. I'm just about to let the door flap fall closed when I notice something glinting in a stray shard of moonlight. Something small and white and glowy, right in the furthest corner of the hut. I hesitate, squinting into the darkness. What is that? I step slowly into the hut, the entrance flap closing behind me. Inside the hut is so dark. I edge towards the moonbeam and the curious little white thing glowing there. I bend and cautiously pick it up. It's very small. It feels familiar. I examine this thing in the thin strand of moonlight, and I gasp. It's a tooth, a deer tooth, I whisper in the dark. A deer tooth, just like my deer tooth, the one I found in my Mandel Forest. I pat at my shorts pocket feeling for the familiar shape but it's still there of my own dear tooth still there i shuffle back out of the hut into the moon brightness to show harvey what i found he's still just standing there right where i left him staring into the smoldering fire hey i say as i approach him look at this harvey i hold out the dark dear tooth to him on my palm he starts back as if in fear almost what is it harvey what's wrong then he steadies himself, reaches out his hand and takes the deer tooth. He lifts it up to the moonlight and stares at it, wide-eyed. I notice that this deer tooth has a little tiny hole in it too, just like the one I found before. I reach towards my pocket to show Harvey my deer tooth too. But suddenly he grabs my wrist. Mosca, he says breathfully, breathlessly. This Mosca tooth. Mosca's deer tooth, I repeat. Why would a baby want a deer tooth? His grip tightens. Harvey stares at me. I can't read his look. Confused, angry, scared. Ma, he whispers. Ma make Mosca deer tooth. Ma, where Ma? Ma, I answer. Well, no, I'm confused. I thought we were looking for Mosca. He drops my wrists and stares about him wide-eyed. He looks suddenly very, very little, like a lost little boy. Where, Ma? And that is today's chapter with sound. So I hope that all works for you, and see you later. Bye-bye.